Oh yes, the community is Richmond Town, and within it, we are historic Richmond Town. We used to be Richmond Town Restoration. The town started in the 1690s, I guess, is certainly the oldest building we still have left, which is the Voliesers House, a combination of church, school, and residence built by the Dutch congregation. And people of the Dutch Reformed faith came from all over Staten Island to that building because it was the only one here. And the community formed here probably because there was the swamp, the great swamp that fills up the western end of Staten Island that is caused by the Fresh Kills Inlet and all that lovely, lovely salt marsh. So we had the swamp blocking some cross traffic. We had the ridge of hills that goes all across Staten Island. And um, so where the road curved around the swamp and the road came at the foot of the hills, they bumped into each other. And the roads made a, made a crossroads. It was a logical place for the central church to be. And then people settled. This area was mostly farmland. By 1730, we had a, a small courthouse and a jail and a jailer's house. So there were businesses, small shops, and people living on their farms. We, we were designated the county seat that early. And then life went on and life went on. And it was always pretty quiet on Staten Island in the early days until the revolution. And then there were so many British soldiers that came here and encamped. A lot of the powerful people on Staten Island were loyalists. Uh, but after the revolution, things pretty much went back to rural activities and rural lifestyles. And the people, the merchants in Manhattan who had money to spend, bought estates on Staten Island or pieces of land. Henry Seaman was his name, and he purchased the old Swaim farm. He laid out Center Street and built four or five, five houses all in a pattern like the Stevens house across the street. And this was one of the first development, certainly the first one in this part of town. It changed, it changed the island, all these new influx of, of people. But that Richmond town itself was very, very quiet, sleepy little, little town, except when court was in session. And by 1867, trains were coming across Staten Island. And unfortunately for Richmond Town, the railroad line did not come right through Richmond Town. Closest train station is Oakwood. And it was, in the early days, referred to as Courthouse Station. Up until probably the 1920s, there were hardly any houses on Clark Avenue. The Richmond Town Restoration was officially started in 1958 or 19. 1958 or 59, the, the government function moved down to St. George starting in 1898 when we became part of Greater New York City. And as development happened with the coming of the Verrazano Bridge, they decided that buildings also needed to be preserved. And there was a, yes, an amazing incredibly ambitious program to, to bring buildings here from other parts of the island. We, Richmond Town Restoration, we are a teeny weeny tail end of La Tourette Park, technically. And the rest of the community developed around here. It's, it's a, I hope, it's a vital part of the community, not only for people who, who are interested in history, but to, to see this little tiny bit of the old days in the greatest city in the world.